Mark, it's, it's been a good week for Forest Green. The news has got even a bit better, hasn't it, with Mark Ellis. Can you tell us what's happened? Yeah, we won the appeal. So I was never really in any doubt after seeing the footage that it was a, a really well-timed tackle and probably summed up the referee's night. But the uh, main thing is we got off it and uh, he's free to play on Saturday. Yeah, you just informed him as well, I gather, so he, he must be delighted. Yeah, he was. Uh, thought he was going to have a weekend off, but... Um, no, we can we can invo uh, involve him in the team, so it's good. It, you know, he's done well. Part of another goal uh, the other night, so yeah, he's he's done well for it. Yeah, just looking briefly back to Sutton, it, it it was a real scrap, wasn't it? It was. It was. I said to the boys before the game, whatever we do, we've got to win. However we do it, it wasn't a pretty performance. Um, it's a bit of a lottery on that pitch. They don't lose many games at home. So they they're very good on it and um, very big, intimidating team. But we we stood up to it. And we uh, and we came away with the three points, you know, which was exactly what we needed to do. Yeah, it was certainly a testing night on and off the pitch, and ev everyone in your squad kept their heads. Yeah, we had to stand up to it, and that's what we want, you know. I, I go on about when when we turn the game into a fight, it, we don't often win, um, but we managed to get two goals in front. It became a scrap, and, and we managed to hang on. Yeah, and it was important. It's certain two banks back after the frustration of Dagenham, really, and. Your team did that. Yeah, I think like it's getting to that stage of the season now where it's very tense and players feel the pressure, um, and that, and they don't want to make any mistakes and that, and they become tense and uptight and it doesn't help us with the way we play and it's important that we stick to what we do because we're really good at it. Yeah, you made a few a number of changes on Tuesday and I guess that's going to be the way forward with ten games to go. You're, you're going to utilise all your squad. Yeah, I know people are moaning about messing and tinkering with the team and they have their favourite players that they, they want to play in every game, but it's impossible on a Saturday and a Tuesday for, for them players to play at their full physical output um, Saturday, Tuesday. So we've got some good players in the squad and we need to use them between now and the end of the season to make sure we get the right results. Yeah, Wrexham Saturday, they're in pretty good form at the moment, aren't they? Yeah, it's a big club, isn't it? Big club. They've had some tough times lately, but um, they've got some good players, experienced players, you know, eyes on the cloud, Russ Penn, people like that have all played at a high level. So we'll have to be at the top of our game to get anything. Yeah, they certainly gave you a test at the race course, but again, if you look at Darren Carter's penalty miss, if that had gone in, you'd have probably gone on and won the game. Yeah, I think on the stats, it was our most convincing possessional display. We had all of the play and, and got beat 3 1, but that's football. 10 games to go now, Mark. Lincoln are not in league action this weekend. You win Saturday, you're level on points with them. Do you see that as a psychological advantage? No, I think it's important that we put pressure on them. That's all it is. We need to put some pressure on them so that they know that they're not going to have an easy run of it. They have some tough games, like we all do, between now and the end of the season. And we have to make sure we put an amount of pressure on them that gives them something to think about. Yeah. Many people thought after Dagenham that the club would have to be content with the playoffs, but... You're not looking at that, are you? No, well, I know there's nine, uh, you know, there's 30 points to play for. We can get 99 points. And I think if you get 99 points, you probably win the league. So it doesn't matter how you get to that total. You know, I think it'll be less than that. It doesn't matter how we get to that total. Uh, we might win the last eight games, you know, or we might win the next 10. You don't know. It's just about trying to hold our nerve and getting the right results. They're all big games now as well. You've got Solly. It's, it's a busy end to the season now, isn't it? Solly Hall Tuesday then Lincoln the Saturday. We have two home games and I think that we need to get two positive outcomes um, if we are to get where we want to get. Yeah. Okay, cheers Mark. Thanks Ash. Thank you.